First on four tonight, the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office providing new information about a high-profile fugitive who was shot and killed by deputies Monday during an attempted arrest. Action Force on Alice Ortiz live from outside the Hidalgo County Constable's Office with more on what was called Operation Lockdown. Marcy, the Hidalgo County constables are just one of several agencies that assisted the sheriff's office in this operation. The goal, to dismantle a criminal organization that was run out of the western portion of the county and led by 25-year-old Santos Cortez Hernandez. Now today, Sheriff Eddie Guetta confirmed that Hernandez was the fugitive shot and killed by two of the deputies on Monday as they tried to arrest Cortez Hernandez. According to Sheriff Guetta, the fugitive was the leader of an auto theft ring, a drug ring and a burglary ring. Now the sheriff's office is still remaining quiet on the details surrounding the deputy involved shooting because it is still under investigation. But according to authorities, Hernandez was armed at the time he was shot. The two deputies involved are on paid administrative leave right now, which is standard procedure in these cases. Also, Sheriff Guetta says his office's internal affairs division, along with assistance of the district attorney's office, will collect evidence to be submitted to the district attorney. The department of the size of the Dallas County Sheriff's Office, we can handle we can handle our own uh, officer-involved shootings. However, in this case, uh, we uh, we did uh, reach out to our uh, state partners, and uh, they helped us with some of our uh, crime scene because uh, they have some of the latest uh, uh, crime scene um, uh, tools that can can map out the uh, the crime scene. And again, after all that evidence is collected, it will head straight to the district attorney and will then be presented to a grand jury. Live from the Hidalgo County Constable's Office, Annalise Ortiz, Action 4 News.